Here we have a 2023 Chevrolet Blazer in the 3LT trim level. And this one is a black on black model, so it comes with the black exterior paint on jet black leather interior. And our powertrain on this Blazer consists of a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. And for 2023, we just have a slight refresh So coming around to the front here, we have our LED daytime running lights along with our LED headlamps. And then coming around to the wheels here, this one comes with a standard 18 inch aluminum wheels. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. And coming around to the driver's side door panel here, we have our power door lock controls, power window controls, power mirrors, and we have a one-touch auto up and down for the driver's side window. And then here we have a two-stage power lift gate so we can set it to either max or three-fourths, and we just hit that button to open and close it, or we can just turn that functionality off. And then over here we have our headlamp controls, electronic parking brake, and there is our front driver's seat. We get power with power lumbar support, and I believe that's an eight-way seat. But before we go check out the back seat room, let's check out this window sticker here. So these are all of our standard features. We get that wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. And the sticker price for this is only $40,395. And no additional options on here. So you'll really get to see what all gets you $40,000 worth in a Blazer 3LT. So pretty good leg room back here. I have the seat in front of me adjusted for someone of my size being six foot three and the way I like to sit. So that's pretty nice. And then over here we have our rear AC vents and then we have a USB-C, USB-A charging port there. And it's freezing outside so you can probably hear the vents blowing in the background. And there's a little pocket there for storage. And then for our center seat, we can just fold that down. Then we have our cup holders here. And I like that we have holding bars on all three of the passenger sides. And then we even have an extra kind of clip there if you just have one or two shirts you want to hang. And then we have our LED dome lights as well. But let's go ahead and check out the back end in the cargo space. And then we just have fuel filler here. And as we come around to the back end here, I really like the tail lights as part of that 23 refresh. Have that kind of Camaro halo ring look to them. Really nice look. And we're gonna go ahead and pop the lift gate here. And a very generous cargo space. We have a 12 volt back here. I like that we have the pockets here on either side for stuff we don't want to fly around. And then on either side, you can fold down the seat. So you pull this, it'll fold down the left side, pull this one, and it'll fold flat. And that's for the right side. And there we have a spare there. I believe that's a full size. I think it's an 18. But I really just love the refresh. It still has that signature blazer look since it got the new edition in 2019. And then that's how we fold that rear seat back. Just pull on it. And 
then here we have our front passenger seat which is going to be six-way power we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood next And there's that 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder, it's mostly covered up. And that's like the perfect thud for me. It needs just a little bit of push and it just closes perfectly. Well, let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat here. We're going to turn the heat down. And then here we have our leather wrapped steering wheel. Now what's new for the Blazers is going to be this 10.2 inch screen here. So we do get, like I said, Apple CarPlay, wireless, and then we have Android Auto as well. We get AM, FM, XM along with Bluetooth. We have a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then one of my favorite things is being able to pull up the climate on the screen. And just really good resolution here for the picture and the screen's very responsive in terms of you can see how quick it is and how it responds here simultaneously as i adjust it on either end so i really like that very easy to use toggle our auto sync then we have a standard home page here now down here, like I said, we do have dual zone automatic climate controls, but we also have three stage heated seats for the driver and front passenger. And then we can adjust our actual temperature for either side with these knobs if we don't want to use the screen up above. And a USB-C, USB-A port there. A little bit of storage in here. And then over to the shifter, we can just hit this button behind, pull down, reverse, neutral, drive, and then let off, pull it again for low mode, and we can manually shift you can see that L in the bottom right of the digital part of the gauge cluster as we toggle that there and then we have our parking sensors we can toggle our lane departure we can turn that on and off and then we have three drive modes here tour mode snow mode and then we have our sport mode and then here we have our center console cubby space pretty good size and then we have a 12 volt in there as well and there's a look at the back seat from up here and then for our glove box we just hit this button pretty decent size and we also have our owner's manuals in there too and up here we can Throw our glasses in here. We have sunglasses. And then we have our universal home remote. Of course, that being programmed, you can use that for your garage. LED dome lights, OnStar. And then we can toggle our auto stop here. Turn that on and off. And back to the steering wheel, we can toggle our cruise control just by hitting this button here. And then we can cut it off there. And then we can actually toggle the speed there. Then we have our, our forward collision gap adjust there. And then we have our voice recognition controls here. And then the scroll bar and these two arrows we use to go through our gauge cluster. We have a lot of options there we can look at. And then behind the steering wheel on the left side, we have our track list radio station favorite controls. We can use that to toggle them up and down. And then on the right side, we can go through our volume toggle that up and then toggle it down that way then auto high beams here one more quick look at that gauge cluster and then here's our push button start finally here is our key fob with remote start 
But next we're gonna go ahead and take this 2023 Blazer 3LT with a two liter turbo out on the road for a quick test drive. So I've said in previous reviews of the Blazer, I really do like the two liter just how quick it is in terms of kind of living with the nine speed, but also just where the turbo likes to but just very quick when you put your foot into it. But the nine speed just does a really good job at making sure the shifts are quick and then also finding that sweet spot so if you're wanting to accelerate it's not clunking or struggling to get you in that hot spot for the turbo in between around 2500 and 4000 rpms but also the blazers have also they just ride really well, especially on these 18s as opposed to the 21s in the RS. Really solid ride there. And as you can see, we're getting right around 27 miles per gallon on the interstate here doing 70. But very easy to control this on the highway. Not getting a lot of feedback in the steering wheel, but I can still feel the road enough to keep control. And there's the auto stop again. So we'll give it some more throttle coming out of this corner here. Yeah, the turbo just feels really, really fast. And I really do, if I were to get a Blazer, I think before I said I would get an RS or a Premier, but after driving this, I would probably go with a 3LT just for the price point because this one stickers at 40395 and if you start going to RS Premier, you're looking at over 50000 more than likely. And this really has everything that I would want except maybe adaptive cruise control, depending on how I use the vehicle. But I definitely have more fun driving with the 2-liter turbo engine as opposed to the V6. And then you also get better gas mileage driving just because you have the smaller engine. But you still get that same 10.2 inch screen. You don't necessarily have a sunroof or cooled seats in this one, but the heated seats work great. 
and the only other thing I would want would be a heated steering wheel. So if you can get those options on this, I would recommend going this route. Save yourself 10 to 12 grand, probably. And you really do get less feedback from the steering wheel and from the vehicle in general having the 18s as opposed to the 21s. And the 21s, they do look great, but if you're not that big in the wheels and don't really care, you'd rather have a better ride quality, can't go wrong with a 3LT leather with the standard 18s. This will bring me to an end of my review of the new 2023 Chevrolet Blazer 3LT with a 2 liter turbo engine.